Astronomy, the branch of science which deals with celestial objects, space, and the physical universe as a whole. A lot of people find it interesting and fascinating. Like little Johnny, and his charming sister Susie, and their handsome father Winston, and maybe even their loyal, adorable dog, Oliver, and mother. Recent scientific discoveries prove the existence of a region of space-time exhibiting such strong gravitational effects that nothing, not even particles and electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from inside it. But because this is too confusing to the vast majority of humans, scientists decided to call it a black hole. This term is of course based on the famous poem by the English poet William Shakespeare. Black hole, son. Won't thou come? And wash away the rain. Black hole, son. Won't thou come? Won't thou come? In the 16th century, not everybody was amused by this type of poetry. A critic even defined it using the noun grunge. But what does a black hole look like? Years ago, scientists attempted to visualize an image of a black hole based on inadequate optical data. They concluded that a black hole has a black area surrounded by yellow and red areas. The image inspired many people, like the Dutch artist Mondrian. But recently, scientists managed to acquire a photograph of a black hole. This is Dr. Catherine Bauman, the married woman, sorry gentlemen, developed an algorithm to create a better image of a black hole using a Malloc machine and the Z1, which are data processing calculators. She calculated 64,000 values representing the amount of red, green and blue light. The result is a color photograph containing 320 by 200 dots. Isn't that amazing? A woman who is a real doctor. Well, who knows what science will bring us in the future. Maybe we will walk on the moon one day. Or maybe they'll invent the device that can automatically tune the voice of bad singers. Thank you for watching.